Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Arena. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can design the content in your Elemental Loop. Mind you, this tutorial, it, it's not restricted to only post uh, type of content. You can also apply it to um, ACF content. You can also apply it to um, um, your product content. As so long as it's a dynamic, you're creating a dynamic content, you can apply this uh, effect to it. So this is the effect I'm talking about, the open and close effect. Uh, yep uh, as you can see so i know creative people looking at it i've already think of multiple ways on how to apply this on their live website and you can see so when you check it on other devices you can also see what how it appears so without further delay without wasting much of your time so i you should just dive in and just um you know get started all right so on our dashboard the first thing we're going to do is we just head on to elemental under the elemental we'll go to the settings now for the settings we just want to make sure that everything is set all right and then we'll just head to the features under the features we'll now go down and make sure that uh flexbox container is set to active and once we've done that we'll now hit the save changes now once we've done that, the next thing we'll do we'll just come down here to the template and then we'll head on straight to the team builder now we'll allow for this to load up now as this loads up the option we're going to select is the loop item now we're just going to click on uh this plus icon here to create a new loop then I'll allow for it to load and i won't be needing any of that so the next thing we're going to do right here is we're just going to click on this plus icon here and then we'll add uh, a container of a structure that's the structure now we're going to set it to full width we're going to set this to full width and then next thing we're going to do is we're just going to add another structure right within that there's another container right within that so we're just going to drag this container here and we'll add it and then in order to see what we are doing we're just going to turn on this navigator so we'll be seeing what we're doing so this container here we're going to call this container card and then inside this container we're going to add two containers so before we do that we're going to set the direction for this card container to this way that's column vertical and then we're going to set uh, the justify content we're going to set it to center so now that we've done that the next thing we're going to do is come down here under this gap we're just going to set it to zero so there is no gap with, between it and then now that we've done this the next thing we're going to do is just go click on this rubies cube icon here and then we'll drag another container inside it and then this container now we're just going to duplicate it here with the navigator we're just going to duplicate it now for the first container we're going to call the first container uh, card open card open and then for the second container we're going to call the second container card details okay that's good you might be wondering why i i label all the containers so it is important that you label your container so that it helps you locate whatever container in particular you want to edit easily all right so now we'll head back to um, this card container here and then we're going to change the content width from box to full width and then we're going to set uh, the unit to pixel and then for the pixel we're going to set it to be um, 300 pixel so we'll have something like that so the next thing we're going to do is under the card open here we're just going to drag uh i'll go to the reviews cube icon here and then we we'll drag a featured image and place it here now for the featured image we're going to uh, change the image resolution to full width and then we'll head to the style option for the style option now we're going to set the width to 100 percent and then for the height we're going to set the height to be uh, 400 and then for the object fit we're going to set it to cover and then I'll leave the object position to be center center and then we'll scroll down for the border radius we're just going to unlink this and give it a border radius of uh, 30 pixel to the right and 30 to the bottom so we'll have something like this okay now that we've done that the next thing we're going to do is we'll come down to the um uh, the card detail now for the card detail, uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to uh, set the column direction vertical like that and then we're going to set the justify content here to the center and then we're going to set align items uh, to the start. So now that we've done that, the next thing we're going to do is we'll go to the style option here. Uh, before we go do that, let's head back and then give this a minimal height same as that of the uh, image of the card open which is 400 pixel and then then we'll now head back to head to the style option for the style option here i'm going to go to the border and now for the border we're going to give it a border radius of uh, we're going to first of all unlink this and give it a border radius of 30 pixel to the right and 30 pixel to the bottom just like 
we did before not to worry it may not be showing number once we're done you will see the effect so now we'll come down to the box shadow and then we'll just give it a box shadow and so we just change the color here we'll make it somewhat reddish you know i if you've seen my videos i know my, i mostly use red in my color i don't know why i just like red uh, but that's not my favorite color though all right so um for the blur we're going to set the blur to be 30 and then for the position we're going to set the position to be inset so we'll have something like this we'll have something that looks like this okay so the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to click on this plus icon here and then we're going to add some stuff to it so the first we're going to add is the post title now uh, to the post title so uh, before we do that let's go back to the card container and then we'll head to the advanced settings now for that we're going to give it um we're going to link this and then we're going to give it a pattern of 20 to the top 20 to the bottom uh 15 to the right and 15 to the left or let's say 20 to the left yeah 20 to the left that looks better so now that we've done that we'll now come back to this post title and then let's tweak it a bit first we're going to do is we're going to change the color to black and then we'll go to the typography we're going to reduce the font size to something 18 so we'll have something like that and then once we've done that the next thing we'll do we'll go back to the content and then we'll give it a link a dynamic tag link for post url so once a user clicks it it takes them to the post url and then now that we've done that we'll come back here and uh, we're going to drag the post accept and we're going to drop it right below that so we're going to have something like this so now we're going to click on this uh, icon here and then we're going to give it a post accept of um, 20 so in a situation where you add a post except and nothing appears you're just going to toggle this apply to post content just going to toggle this on so it applies in a situation where a post except is not given to that particular um, post so you're just going to toggle this and then it's going to apply automatically so now that we've done this uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to come back here and then we're going to drag a button and we'll drop it right below here and then for this we're going to keep um, change the title text to uh, learn more okay and then we're going to come down here to um, the styling and then we're going to give it a color red so we we'll have something like this okay so this 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 looks great okay so we'll go back to the content for the um, button and then we're going to give it a dynamic link now we're going to set it to post title so once a user clicks on it it takes them to the, that particular post title okay so i believe now uh everything is coming into form so the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to add some some line of css code that will do the magic that will perform the magic for us we've done the, the basic work so now the next thing we're going to do is i'm going to go ahead to my atom code editor this is the css code that i'll be adding so i'm just going to copy it and i head back and then i come to this parent container here and then we'll go to the advanced settings and we'll come down to the custom and css now um, if you're using the free version of elementor you won't be able to access this custom css option so i'm just going to paste this here all right so now that i've done that the next thing i'm going to do is you notice that after pasting the css nothing still happens so the reason for that is there are some classes we need to add to our various containers so now for the first card this card container here i'm going to go to the advanced settings and then we're going to give it a card just as the title of each of the container is that's what the classes are for the card uh all right for the css class uh we're going to give it the title card and then we'll come down to the second one which is uh, the card open and we'll head to the advanced settings now before we do that we need to give it a z index of uh, five it could be one two three but make sure it's not zero and then um the class we're going to give the class card open and then as you can see the features are still already coming into order so the next thing we're going to do is come down to the card details now for the card details we're going to go to the advanced settings and then we'll come down here to the css class and then we're going to give it uh the class card details and then this is what we'll have so as you can see now this is it this is the feature it looks like the book and then if you click on this it takes it to the post title to the post if you click on this it takes it to the post you can also do this uh for do a feature like this for um um products products uh, loop so now that we've done this um the next thing we're going to do is uh we're going to try to see uh, the responsiveness of of this so 
to do that we're just going to toggle this here and then we're going to come here but mind you you won't really see it but until we uh, check it on uh, we'll add this loop to our live page where we can visitors can view it but before we do that let's just go over here a little bit and see okay on uh, tablet it looks fine but um, you're gonna see something on the mobile so on the mobile this is what we get so that is to show you that it is um, uh, deactivated on the mobile because it doesn't really look nice on the mobile so in order to fix this now what we're going to do is first of all we're going to come to this head over to this container here and then we're just going to toggle this and then no, no, just, we're not going to toggle that we're just going to give it a 20 pixel like that we're going to give it 20 pixel like that okay and then we've done that the next thing we do we'll come over to this card open and then for the image the featured image now we're just going to come over here and for the height we're going to reduce the height to um let's see um 230 230 yep we're going to reduce it to 230 and then we're going to unlink this and then remove this pattern this sorry this border radius Gonna remove the border radius uh, yep we're gonna remove the border radius and so now for uh, the card details option here now we don't come over here and the first thing we're gonna do is for the height here which is 400 we're gonna reduce it to um, let's say 275 275 we'll have something like this okay and then we'll now go back to the styling head over to the styling and then for the border edges we're going to unlink this as well so we're just going to have something that looks like this this looks basically like a, a normal block card okay which is great which is better and then we're just going to publish this now that we've done that uh, we're just going to publish this um mind you uh, there is something i forgot but thank god i remember so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to click on this settings here and then I'm going to title this uh, loop we've created. So we're just going to title it um, card flip or card open, card open style, card open style. Yep. Uh, okay. All right. Now that we've done that, we're just going to update it. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do now is we're just going to head over here to uh, a page where we want to add that particular loop so that it will be visible for our viewers. So on this page here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw, add a container here and this container, I'm just going to head over to the advanced settings and then give it a padding all around this 100 so that we can see what I'm doing. Uh, okay, so now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on this plus icon here and then I'm going to search for card. Uh, sorry, I'm going to search for loop and then i'm going to drag this loop grid and drop it here now for the posts this is you remember the, the loop we created is for posts so now i'm just gonna search here for it so the title what we titled ours was card uh flip something style card yeah card open all right uh card open titled it uh card open yeah card open style this is it so I'm just going to select it and then allow for it to load. Okay, now it has loaded all the posts that I have. And you can see this is what we have here. You can see. As you can see, this is a very wonderful, beautiful feature. Now, if we should check uh, for the responsive mode, check it on tablet. This is what we get on tablet. This also looks great tablet and then we will go down to the mobile uh not to worry the reason for this is because of the container which i added this container here remember i gave it a pattern 400 100 all through so i'm just going to un unlink this and then give it a pattern of 100 at the top and then 100 at the bottom 100 at the bottom and then you can either leave it this way or we can just add some um, pattern to the level i believe it's better we leave it this way because it sits well so you can see this looks wonderful this looks wonderful so now i'm just going to update this uh, now we'll click on live preview and voila this is the future 
we've added. We've come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you find this tutorial helpful and you, you've already imagined a series of ways you can use this feature on your live website. So if this tutorial has been helpful to you, please remember to give it a like. And then if you're new to your channel, please remember to subscribe and then hit the bell icon so you get notified first when I drop a new video. Uh, guarantee then see you next time. Bye bye.